The next part of the program is happy and sad in some ways for me. Next year I start my 25th year teaching. And I've been very, very fortunate in my time to have a few students that have come across my programs, whether it's been at East Coweta or Milton or North Springs are here that have decided to pursue a career in music education. But the thing that you don't know about it, Adam Youngman, who is uh, going to be a senior at Georgia Southern next year, called me about two years ago after he'd been doing this about two years, and he said, I can't believe all the crap you had to go through to be a band director. the theory, he said, this is not fun at all. I was like, no, it's not. I said, but you have to remember what this is all about. This is about students. This is about impacting people's lives. What, what Adam doesn't know is that yesterday I got, I was on Facebook and I saw that one of my students from East Coweta had their child graduate from Riverside Military Academy this past Saturday. And I was like, I had no idea that they were that close. And then she, Facebook, she said, I see you're still impacting lives. And I said, well, okay. And she said, she said, you don't know what those years meant to me in the band. She said, you will forever have real estate in my heart. They don't teach that in college. They don't teach about that in college. They don't teach about what type of impact you have every single day. And so I've kind of made it my mission to make sure that students who leave here, despite all the things that you'll go through in theory class, all the aggravations of college, then on the other side of that, you have an opportunity to touch people's lives in ways that other people don't. It's not a day that goes by I don't take that, I don't take that, I, I did not take that for granted. Matthew Blomquist came into this program, how shall I say, describe Matt? Kind of a snot-nosed kid. <laughs> Matt and I, Matt and I, we had, we had we never really had a run in, but we've had discussions in my office about things that are right, things that are not correct. And then I found out, of course, that he wanted to be a band director. And I thought there's nobody that's more ready than Matt. But the one thing they don't tell you in college is that you can go through all the classes, but you're never ever going to stand in front of a band until you student teach. Now, think about that for a minute. You go through three and a half, four years of college, and the first time you ever wave a stick in front of a band is when you're student teaching, and suddenly you have to go to band camp. A friend of mine described it once, and he said, Dennis, I got through college, and I got a job, and I got to band camp. We're both drummers. And he said, I put my hands up, and the, their horns went up. I thought to myself, I have no idea what the heck to do right now. <laughs> it's true. Standing on this box, when you've never done it before is one of the scariest feelings you'll know. Because it's easy to take and they play. But to tell them what to do from there is different. So when Matt took my class, Matt takes my class three days, three, three periods every day. Second period, he's just kind of a helper. Fourth period, he's kind of a helper. Sixth period, we do a lot of percussion stuff. But I told him, I said, you're going to conduct a piece in the spring concert. And I said, I'm not going to help you. I'm going to give you the score. I'm going to give you about six weeks to get yourself ready. And then you're on your own. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't just throw it to the wolves. But I wanted to see if he could sing or swing. Much like my student teacher did to me. My, I mean, my student teacher supervisor did to me. He threw me in the middle of a sixth grade band. 150 of them when I was 22 years old. And he left. <laughs> and he said, I'll see you in 10 weeks. You, you can either do it or you can't. This band behind me has allowed Matt to work. It's been really cool to watch. And um, it warms my heart because I know Matt's going to be really good at this. And so making his conducting debut tonight, conducting Robert Sheldon's Shanties. Please welcome to the podium for the first time ever, Matthew Blanco.
like I said, the preparation of that piece for, for him was you know, he prepared that piece. I mean, there were times where I would come out and say, think about what you're hearing. I'm going to tell you, as a drummer who doesn't play a wind instrument, learning to listen to a band from the podium was totally different. And so I, 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 there was one day I was sitting in my office, I said, Matt, you're going you're to start class today, you're going to do everything. And they'll tell you, they'll tell you, um, they started playing, and I jumped out of my office. And Matt's just kind of cruising along. And I stopped, I said, Matt, what are you hearing? He said, I don't know. I looked at the man, I said, what's the problem? What would you say? Bad tone, right? Bad tone. They knew it, they knew what they had done, but it's just a matter of recognizing it's just a matter of recognizing and make, making them hold them accountable. For so, so I'm real proud of Matt. Matt's going to make a great band director. You just wait and see. I'm real, real proud of that. And like I said, he's a fourth one uh, from Fly Branch. we got Adam Youngman, um, who's going to be student teaching in another year. Jesse Simmons will be student teaching next spring. Josh Watkins, who's working at it up in North Georgia. And then Matt, we also have Quan. Quan doing something in education, but we don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Um, we have several students that are... That, 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 are, that are leaving here pursuing this. So uh, I just want them to always keep focused on what this is about because there's days when there's days when you don't want to do this. When, when they tell you about testing and slows and grades and cafeteria duty. You must do it here. Thank you. Really? Okay. So anyway, we're going to close tonight. Um, when, when we start talking